Black holes are known for two characteristics in particular. They have a mysterious singularity at their center, and they literally destroy everything that comes too close to them. But what if that weren't true at all? In fact, our views of these bizarre mass monsters has changed dramatically in recent times. It is possible that black holes have surface structures that store information instead of destroying it. But that's not all. It is also conceivable that the much-cited singularity of black holes does not actually exist and that we are all currently inside one of these gravitational monsters. So be sure to stay tuned until the end and see for yourself what revolutionary insights experts have now gathered about the most unreal excesses of the cosmos. Nothing that has passed the event horizon of a black hole can pass through it again from the inside out. And we really mean nothing. No radiation, no information, and certainly no matter. And so it came to pass that for decades, researchers believed that everything that falls into a black hole is lost forever and completely obliterated. And that may sound perfectly logical at first, but this is precisely where quantum physics comes into play, reminding us once again that things are not always as simple as they seem at first glance. One of the most fundamental principles of quantum mechanics states that information cannot simply be destroyed. It can only be transformed or hidden. This in turn gives rise to the famous information paradox and thus an exciting contradiction between Einstein's general theory of relativity and quantum mechanics. Let's imagine throwing a newspaper into a fireplace. Although the paper unsurprisingly goes up in flames, from a purely physical point of view, the information about every word and every letter continues to exist. It is contained in the gas molecules, in the ashes, in the smoke, in the light, and in the heat released during combustion. The information is so jumbled up that it is practically unrecognizable. But that does not mean it has disappeared. And scientists now believe that black holes function in a very similar way. The corresponding theories state that they could return the supposedly lost information to the universe piece by piece as they slowly evaporate through Hawking radiation. So we would be dealing with what is probably the most complicated archive in the cosmos, because everything that falls into the black hole is stored and eventually released again via quantum entanglement islands. These islands are special regions where quantum information can escape the grip of the black hole, thus ensuring that, on balance, nothing is really lost. Hairy or bald, why the hairstyle of black holes is so crucial. And perhaps you've also heard that black holes are said to have hair. But what does that mean? Well, for a long time, we described black holes as having only three properties, mass, electric charge, and angular momentum or spin. The so-called no-hair theorem stated that these gravitational monsters were, in principle, completely smooth, structureless objects. Against this background, however, Hawking radiation was not considered a cosmic information store, but rather purely thermal radiation that contains no information about the history of the black hole's formation. However, recent research findings suggest that black holes may well have soft hair. Specifically, the soft hair idea refers to low energy quantum fluctuations and thus to extremely subtle effects in the fields directly at the event horizon. These quantum fluctuations could create tiny differences between black holes, and every particle that falls into it may leave behind a kind of quantum signature at the event horizon. The soft hairs could thus store information about the entire infall process and release it again when they evaporate through Hawking radiation. Conversely, these tiny hair waves could also bring us a giant step closer to solving the information paradox. Because in this case, the information does not simply disappear. It is immortalized like a cosmic tattoo on the surface of the black hole. Experts are currently working on mathematical models that show how such structures can be created and exist. But that's not all. Now it gets really wild. What if the most striking and confusing feature of black holes doesn't actually exist at all? Or to put it another way, does singularity not actually exist? There is a point at which even Einstein's general theory of relativity reaches its limits. 
According to conventional wisdom, black holes embody singularities, which means nothing other than that their interior is characterized by infinite density and space curvature, where our classical physics fails. However, and this is the exciting part, string theory approaches this extreme world from a slightly different angle. More specifically, this refers to the so-called fuzzball theory, which proposes that matter does not collapse into an infinitely dense point, but that black holes are actually gigantic, tangled balls of vibrating strings. Let's imagine a ball of wool that we keep squeezing together. In older models, it would eventually shrink to a single point. But in fuzzball theory, the strings resist this final compression and form an extremely dense but finite structure. According to this theory, a black hole would be more like an incredibly compact, fluffy ball of energy and information, or more precisely, a special configuration of strings and brains that carries mass and information. To briefly explain, strings are tiny, one-dimensional threads whose vibrational states determine the properties of particles, such as mass and charge. Brains, on the other hand, are higher dimensional surfaces or spaces on which strings end or in which they are embedded. And if fuzzball theory corresponds to cosmic reality, then the singularity problem is also a thing of the past. Because where there is no infinite density, there is also no physical collapse, only an exotic form of matter that will need to be deciphered in the future. The event horizon can simply be the boundary at which the fuzzball structure becomes so dense that no light can escape. And fascinatingly, this theory even preserves information by nature. Since there is no singularity that could destroy the information, everything that falls into the black hole becomes part of this cosmic string soup and could, in principle, be released again when the mass monster evaporates. Recently, however, another exciting hypothesis has been put forward, the quantum memory matrix. To understand this, we can imagine a black hole as something like the most sophisticated computer in the universe. The idea is that these objects not only store matter and energy, but also have quantum memory cells that preserve a perfect record of every single particle that has ever crossed the event horizon. We can compare this to a kind of cosmic blockchain. Every piece of information is stored in quantum states distributed throughout the entire structure of the black hole. When it slowly evaporates via Hawking radiation, it doesn't just emit random energy. It gradually discharges its entire memory by encoding the stored information into the radiation. And that sounds pretty crazy, but researchers are actually already starting to test these ideas using quantum computers. To do this, they are creating simplified models of black hole physics in laboratories and investigating how quantum information behaves in extreme scenarios. Initial results suggest that information can indeed be preserved and even recovered even from systems that mimic the bizarre conditions in black holes. Black holes as creators of the universe? But it gets even crazier. Some of the latest models suggest that black holes are not just cosmic vacuum cleaners, but rather cosmic recycling centers or even universe factories. To understand what this means, we need to bring the hypothetical counterparts of black holes into play. While the latter devour everything and let nothing escape, white holes are said to do the exact opposite. In other words, they constantly eject matter and energy into space without anything being able to cross their event horizon from the outside in. Some scientists even speculate that black holes could eventually turn into white holes, spitting out everything they have swallowed over billions of years. But what if every black hole ultimately creates a new universe? And let's be clear, this is not the crazy idea of a science fiction author. It is a scenario that is being seriously discussed among experts. This theory states that instead of a singularity, the collapsing matter creates a kind of breakthrough through space-time, which gives rise to a newly expanding cosmos on the other side. In other words, this means that our own universe could have been born 13.8 billion years ago inside a black hole in a parent universe. Conversely, however, the Big Bang would not have been the beginning of literally everything, but merely the starting signal for our cosmos, which is embedded in a much more complex, higher structure. This could also explain why the universe appears to be expanding. 
instead of seeing the consequences of the Big Bang, we may be experiencing the ongoing expansion of space within a black hole that is itself still growing in its parent universe. But what would all this actually mean in concrete terms? If the Big Bang was in fact a rebound triggered by matter falling into a black hole in another universe? Well, amazingly, this exciting approach could help us address some fundamental questions. For example, the theory could explain why cosmic background radiation looks the way it does. Why the universe is so remarkably uniform on large scales, and even why we observe the specific laws of nature that we know. From our perspective inside the black hole, we would experience normal physics, normal time, and normal space. We would never know that we were actually inside such a monster, because its event horizon would lie far outside our observable universe and would be invisible to us. All these revolutionary ideas completely change our understanding of black holes. We no longer view them as simple cosmic machines of destruction, but see them as complex information stores, as potential creators of universes, and perhaps even as our own cosmic home. The quantum computers of the future can help us test these exciting theories. Gravitational wave detectors show us the mergers of black holes in real time, and new mathematical models provide us with fresh theoretical insights. And who knows? Maybe one day we will succeed in completely unraveling the mysteries of black holes and find out where our place in the universe really is. But for now, feel free to click on the subscribe button Simply press the thumbs up and subscribe to never miss a new video from us again. We'll see you soon.